Hello friends and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to do a baking with cozies and actually I don't know if I can classify this as baking because there is no oven involved but <laughs> we are going to be making the recipe that's in the back of the book from Mistletoe and Mayhem by London Lovett. It was the first book that I read for Cloak and Dagger Christmas this year and it's one of the hallmarks of the cozy mystery genre that many of them involve cooking or baking in some ways and a lot of them have recipes in the back and this one is no different and this one is a truffle recipe and it is called melt in your mouth chocolate truffles so the recipe is on the next page and she also has a website where she puts the recipes, so I will uh, link that down below. And I will say that I looked over this recipe and I might be maybe tweaking it a little bit, uh, just kind of the ending part, because I don't know, it just seems kind of involved for me, but, <laughs> but we'll see. So I'm probably going to put you on voiceover so that I can actually read the recipe while I make this and you won't have to sit here for a million years. <laughs> so let's get started. So first things first, we want to whip up some heavy whipping cream into soft peak form with some vanilla and some salt, which I realized I only had in my salt shaker. So this was a struggle, <laughs> but we got there in the end. I don't know if I had enough in there, but ultimately it didn't matter. So thank goodness for the KitchenAid because I would not want to whip anything into soft peaks by hand. <laughs> so then I just weighed out some chocolate chips, some semi-sweet and some milk chocolate, and I melted it in a double boiler, which that was that's always kind of fun. I love seeing it melt and getting it all, you know, smooth and shiny like that. That's always the, the best part. So this is where I kind of messed up that I don't think I let the uh, chocolate cool enough and when I folded in the heavy whipping cream it got a little soupy. But ultimately I don't think it really mattered too much in the end. Okay so I was afraid that I ruined it when I put the um, heavy whipping cream in because they like deflated real quick <laughs> and I thought oh geez I didn't uh, leave enough time for it to cool down before I put the whipping cream in but it looks pretty good it looks like it's set up so let's get these on the baking tray and see how they look so that was kind of a messy task <laughs> but here they are laid out on the tray they're probably bigger than they were meant to be, but I only had a cookie scoop. So that's what we're going with. And they'll probably be rustic because my hands were very messy at the, at the beginning, <laughs> trying to get them out of the cookie scoop. So I finally got them to just drop out and I wasn't gonna touch them. <laughs> so this is how they look at the moment. So now they go in the refrigerator again, and I'm just going to leave them overnight and come back tomorrow and finish them off. Finish them off. Hello. It is the next day and I was going to try to do the rest of the recipe like it's supposed to be done in the book. <laughs> However, that requires more melting of chocolate and um, just just some extra things that I'll be honest, I wasn't really in the mood to do. So let's look at what I did end up doing. So this is the finished product. And what I ended up doing was I had some dark chocolate cocoa powder that I rolled the truffle around in. And then um, after I was done doing that, I found these, um, let's see, cupcake gems and so I put those on top but the thing that I will say that I did wrong was um they kind of they're not like 
pearl set in there. So basically, and it's you know pretty messy. <laughs> so if you do anything uh, with them that is not, you know, see, they're just gonna come right off. <laughs> so yeah, I probably should have just stuck to the recipe. So um, let that be a lesson. However, they do taste pretty good. I had one and they are delicious and very rich. So <laughs> I do highly recommend them, but maybe take the time next, if you do this and check out the actual recipe that London puts on her website or in one of her books and um, just do it that way. <laughs> Cause this did save a lot of time and I don't really care because they're just for me. But in order, if you want them to look festive for, you know, an outing <laughs> or, you know, like a Christmas party or something, then you might want to do something a little bit different. So, <laughs> but I mean, whatever. I think they will, they, they taste good and I think they'll, they'll work just fine. I apologize for the harsh lighting, <laughs> but anyway, this was a really fun experiment. I enjoyed it and they were delicious, but my experiment tells me that I should just stick to recipes because, <laughs> uh, you know, it's fun to experiment, but sometimes they don't turn out as well as you hoped if you don't just follow what the experts tell you to do. <laughs> And I am no expert, trust me. So anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed this little baking experiment. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Bye, friends.